Hi, Tripti. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you, Tripti? I'm fine. How are you, sir? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Tripti, just going through your profile, you're a biology student. Yes, sir. Where you got the motivation to start data analytics? How your journey start data analytics? <clears throat> uh i was i was a biology student i have lot of interest in biology uh when i was uh, actually i have persuaded my graduation in biotechnology where we used to do, deal with many system things and uh, later on i came to know that in biology field uh, there is opportunities no doubt uh, there is a lot of opportunities but it will take a lot of time but in this it sector it field I, can, I recognize that I can get a job at a very less period of time and the skills and the things that we are learning here is really very nice and is really very interesting. That's why I got interest in IT sector and especially in this data analysis field. You will not get self question that as a, you know, everybody is talking about to, to become a data scientist, data analyst required B-Tech, M-Tech. I know some you know qualification required, but as a biology student, I, how you you know overcome this question? Sorry, sir, I didn't get you. No, when the market everyone is talking about to you know to become a data person, you need knowledge and you know background should be B Tech, engineering background. But as a biology student, you might be you know self question or maybe you know your ask how you overcome this question. At that. At the time of preparation, a lot of uh, self-doubt was there whether I'm eligible for this field or not, whether I can do here or not. But <clears throat> once I started doing, uh, uh, once I started learning things, I thought that I am eligible and no such technical knowledge required in this field. It is just our confidence and the, and the courage to learn things that should be there inside someone. Uh, tell me, Tripti. So, Ajay, you mentioned that you done five month internship in Data Gan, and you you know done multiple project, also in uh, with building database knowledge and solid database Excel, advanced Excel knowledge and database into Tableau, also knowledge and Python. So, can you bit elaborate your uh, you know introduction, bit elaborate your education, what how you involvement in that project? Okay, sir. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I have uh, completed my schooling at Kendra Vidyalaya Gajapati, coming to my educational qualifications. I have completed my schooling, that is my matriculation at Kendra Vidyalaya Gajapati, and then coming to class 11th and 12th, that is my intermediate, that also I have continued there at Kendra Vidyalaya Gajapati. Then I persuaded my graduation in uh, Bachelor in Science, Biotechnology, that I have done in uh, uh, BJB Autonomous College Bhubaneswar. Then I did internship for five months at Data Gyan uh, on data analysis, where I used to interact with client uh, and uh, I make myself understand about the business requirement related to the data. And I deal with uh, SQL Server, Excel, and Tableau. SQL Server, like I deal with SQL Join, Set Operator, SQL Functions. And in Excel, like Pivot Table, we look up Pivot Chart, and in Tableau, Data Visualization. Oh, nice! Then excellent. In five months, I think you've done, you know, solid uh, implementation in your project. Very nice to hear. So. Uh, and also, you... I did an ETL project. That is, uh, uh, also I did an ETL project. Okay. Using okay. all these tools. Yeah. What is the ETL project, and how you develop the project? I did a ETL project on pizza company, on a pizza company that is Swiggy. Uh, sorry, the on a K pizza comp company that was the initial startup at Bangalore. That was a normal project I did. Uh, that was a startup company. I extracted data. I I collected the data set and I analyzed many things. Like I undergo, I did the data cleaning process. I did data transformation. And I analyzed many things, how the sales of that particular company can be increased. Okay, nice. When you data collected, 
what are the challenges you face and how you overcome the challenges um while collecting data i faced uh, i faced many challenges like uh, like uh, whether uh, people did online transactions or offline transactions what they are doing uh, how to deal with it uh, it took a lot of time but finally you completed that uh, data yes. collection part yes when the data transformation or you know when you do data process and in this entire project the data collection part is the only part what was difficult and after that data cleaning was uh, uh 70% work after that 30% work was nothing much more that okay right correct so in a data transformation or data processing what are the action you took in data transformation like i did data filtration uh data filtration i have uh, 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 whether there were space or uh, duplicate values uh, i have deleted all those things and i have transformed the, that written record into some uh, charts into tables into dashboards so that it will be easy for uh, all to understand how the things are going on okay and once you upload the data what analysis is do in sql sorry sir i didn't get you data is coming from multiple sources the multiple department yes. you uh, yes. clean the data uploaded the data into database through etl process you extract the data transform the data load into database once the data is hmm. load what hmm. sort of analysis you done in that sql in sql query in sql, SQL. server y yes, yes in sql server uh, i did some query through analysis like i found how much online transaction is done how much female customers are buying this how much male customers are buying 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 the k pizza and uh, who are purchasing offline at what period of time the sale is high at what period of time the sale is low at uh, and i also analyze at which days of the week is uh, uh, which days of the week is uh, more to like weekends on saturday and sunday people are buying more Oh, as compared to weekday yes it day. was interesting very interesting okay nice okay so while doing sort of analysis so where do you feel complexity like the business where do you feel that need to improve the data and where you need to improve the business in my opinion sir coming to myself i feel complexity in doing query through analysis and also um data collection okay query through analysis okay and because must... sometimes i got confused what to do what not to do and sometimes i get, i got messed up how to do it uh, and then i have to analyze many things i have to search more and more at that portion i was little bit stuck up but you overcome the the challenge yes i overcome very nice and it was interesting also Okay, very nice. As a fresher, as an entry level, the knowledge you acquire is very, very nice. Okay, great. So coming to data visualization part in Excel, you must have done data visualization part initial part, correct? Yes, sir. How many chart and graph is available in Excel, and how many you are doing chart and graph every day? Sir, exactly number I don't recall it now, but uh, graphs that I remember is the histograph, bar graph, line graph, pie chart. All these things are available in Excel. But which graph you are using frequently? We can use any graph according to our convenience and according to our business requirement. Okay. It is dependent on us how we are dealing with it. Okay. What is the size of data you deal? uh there were uh, 400 uh, records and uh, 10 columns 8 to 10 columns 8 to 10 columns this is a very small amount of data correct yes uh, all right yeah so coming to the next question in sql uh what is sql where clause SQL where clause is a type of clause where uh, when we need to fetch some particular record then we use SQL where clause using operators what are the operator in where clause 
there are uh, so many operators in where where clause some examples are greater than is equals to less than greater than equals to less than equals to in not in like operator So what is a you know sub query in SQL and why you are using sub query? Sub query, sub query in SQL is nothing but a inner query or a nested query that is used to uh, simplify some simplify a query that is used within an SQL statement. Okay, nice. What is SQL view? What is the advantage of SQL view? SQL views are uh, are used. Uh, SQL views are like we have some data or a data set that we have analyzed and we want to store it. We can store it using view. It is just for temporary use and uh, we can create a view. We can do analysis in view also. What is the SQL join and what are the different joins you used? SQL joins uh, combines uh, SQL joins combines rows and rows from two two tables, two or more tables. There are four types of SQL joins. They are inner join, outer join, self join, and cross join. Outer join is again divided into three types. Uh, inner out in sorry, right out right outer join, left outer join, and full join. Nice. Uh, as a beginner, maybe it will be you know the question is for experienced people. Let me check you. It will mention. Do you have a knowledge on data modeling? Sir, actually, I have, but uh, now I cannot recall it. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, okay. What is the difference between normalization and denormalization? Any any idea? Normalization normalization is uh, uh, organizing data in a structured way. It helps in establishing relationship between tables and columns. Renormalization means it allows duplicate values. Okay. What is the difference between fact table and dimension table? Dimension table is a table that stores. Dimension table is a table uh, that can be used only once. Like uh, uh, fact table, uh, fact table contains only quantitative value, but dimension table does not contain quantitative value. Mm -hmm. Nice. What are the type of uh, uh, dimensional table? Sorry, what is the type of uh, uh, fact table? Sorry, sir. I don't know. Okay. You any idea about a schema? Schema, little bit. I little knowledge I have. Schema is uh, uh, schema is uh, schema is used to uh, schema is used to organize data logically, organize structured data logically. Okay. And what is the types of a schema? Database schema, information schema. Yeah, star schema, hybrid schema. Star hybrid. schema, snowflake schema. Hmm. Okay, nice, nice. In Excel, uh, you mentioned like you are doing a lot of uh, data visualization. What is conditional formatting and how many maximum condition we can apply? We can apply condition, uh, we can apply one two or more conditions based on our requirement conditional formatting is mostly required when we do some visualization part like uh, when you when we use some coloring portion then we can use conditional formatting mm -hmm. okay. what is the maximum size of a data excel can store 10 lakhs 48576 very nice perfect what is the difference between report and dashboard a report and dashboard, there is a very minimum difference between report and dashboard because in while reporting also we represent data and in dashboard also we represent data only after analyzing. The report uh, rep Data reporting means we are rep it contains data in a very lengthy summary way like uh, it contains uh, it report may contain data in written form, in uh, visualization form, in graph form. It can contain in any form but coming to dashboard it, can, it is more attractive. It is more easy to understand. Okay. Okay. In Tableau, you mentioned that you've done a number of visualizations in Tableau. How do you publish a dashboard in Tableau? What are the steps? Uh, when I collected a data set, I did a lot of work in data source part only, like data cleaning, 
uh, almost 80% or 90% work was done in data source part itself only. Then I came to data uh, worksheet, Tableau worksheet. And in Tableau worksheet, I created many, many graphs and also geographical graphs. And uh, after creating that, I went to dashboard part and I created all those uh, and the graphs I have created in Tableau worksheet that I have uh, put in, in Tableau dashboard. And I have shared with the and I've shared it as per business requirement. What is the difference between live and extract in Tableau? available in offline mode also but live i think it is not available in uh, offline it is only available online okay. what is drill down in tableau sorry sir i don't remember okay what are the tableau product family can you please elaborate please tableau reader mm -hmm. Tableau, Tableau Reader, Tableau. Sorry, sir, I'm I'm not able to remember it. Tableau Desktop, Tableau, Tableau Server, Tableau Reader, Tableau Public. Ah, these are Tableau product family. Next question. A uh, few, you know, question is there. What are your hobbies? I love listening music uh, and uh, reading novels. What is your strength? My strength is uh, I can. I'm a good team player. I can do good teamwork. Okay. I believe in teamwork. Nice. I think I'm done for my part. Uh, do you have any question for me? Yes, sir. I have a question. Uh, question that when can I join? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you you know we are conducting. Uh, you know uh, there is a few more round is there. Also parallel we are taking few candidates. But I uh, you know I impress your profile because as a biology student when I I took many students from engineering background. Even experienced candidate, three to four year, five year, the way you deliver the answer you done, I think impresses. Very nice. As a biology student, uh, you have. Thank a, you, you, sir. Know, you have gathered the lot of technical knowledge. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Good day. Bye.